welcome back to my channel guys um as you as you've always known anytime i have updates i always make sure i make a video on it um i know i promised uh to make a video on fuel but the, the reason why i had to make union first is because union might be ending by tomorrow and i don't want you guys to miss, miss this because it is so so on the farm and big kudos to cut for this so just make sure you just pay attention and watch everything i do here if you're new here don't forget to click that subscribe button don't forget to like and share the video with your friends and family and also if you are an old member and you've been here with us all this while don't forget to share the video with others and also like and comment whatever issue you have everything you know you need for the video i'll always drop them in the video description section so just pay attention so here just make sure you follow every single thing i do here so the first thing you need to do is just start with our uh the, you can actually run it on your phone if you have a vps make sure you try to subscribe for a vps on vpsdime.com you'll be able to subscribe for a vps once you get your host and your password and everything you download time years on your mobile phone then you can run your nodes peacefully and easily on your phone on your mobile phone as well so let's go guys um now we start with the first thing this is the node if you pay attention to this code binary codes i have in this uh text in this text document you see that i have some written with asterisks you can see all those you see with asterisks are not codes they are just instruction so now anytime you see uh this oh, okay something like this is also an instruction so i want to put asterisk just so that you guys don't make errors oh sorry 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 So just watch, I'll put, sorry, I'll put asterisk here. Just to show that, it's just to show the instruction that this code here, you're seeing here, here it's, um, uh, what's it called? It's the code for installing Docker. So that's why I see install Docker Compose. So here, let's start. Um, you make sure you do it one after the other. Though sometimes I do lazy work by doing this. I can just go ahead and do this. And decide to copy everything but it is more advisable to copy them one after the other but i am doing this just to make the video fast and not to be too long so here the first thing you need to do after copying you go back to tamios and one thing you need to notice is uh, know is that if you're using tamios on your pc make sure you're running uh you are what's it called um make sure you're using Control shift v you're not just using Control v to paste Control V will not paste, so you have to use Control Shift V. But for your phone, you just hold on to the screen, it will pop up paste, then you click on the paste, that's all. So here, you click enter after pasting. So once you're done pasting, it will load the code, you let it get to the end. You see, it's asking if you want to override, you say yes. That's because I've run the code earlier before now. But for you, you won't see that. So let's just go. Click on yes. So once you're done, then we can go. So you can see once it shows this root at your name, that's your the customized name you use. It means you can now input the next code. So now we'll go back to verify installation. Now we use this copy. Just do everything as it's done in this video, please. To avoid comp complications so here control shift v so it's done so let's go back for the next code this is the next control c to copy is actually control c but when you are copying from inside tamios it's still control shift c but once you're copying from the text you have somewhere it's still control c and here control shift v then you enter so it's done downloading go back let's go to our docker you see go back go to shift b enter so you can see the version then copy this all at a time if you want to see this control shift v and enter 
and we'll go back and we'll reboot when you reboot from your end your vps might log you out that's this time yours it might log you out but if it doesn't you just hold on for like 30 seconds it will reboot then it will continue so just watch and see what happens here so you can see it's reconnecting automatically some might log you out you can see it's logging you out but if it doesn't log you back in, then you can just log in by, uh, log back in manually. But for mine, if you, if you come back, okay, you see it's failed. So now, I'll just say start over. To start over so that it can, it can sign me back in. It can log me back in rather. So you can see it's back in. So now, I'll, I'll go back to the next code. After this reboot, yeah. So now this is it. Copy. You see, it's with Tamiya's Control Shift B. You have to get used to this button. So it say proceed with the operation. Yes, which is why you respond with why. So after responding, active. Okay, and Docker pull. You paste this, paste this first. Sorry, to see Control Shift V. Okay. Just hold on, just hold on. It's still loading. Don't want it to waste much of our time. So you can see after it wasted little time because I mistakenly press enter twice. That's why it jumped to the second one, but it doesn't stop anything. So let's go back. Please we'll copy this what you see. Then you come right here, control shift V, press enter and not create directly. Okay, fine, exist. Don't worry, you, you won't see this error if you're running it for the first time. So just ignore the error you're seeing here. So just co continue. Then we have Docker run, we have control C. The reason why you're seeing all those things is because I've already run test run it myself. So now I'm just doing the, uh, another run just for the purpose of making uh, uh, having a guide for every one of you so that you can also have uh, to participate so that it won't be as if I uh, I'm doing everything just for myself and I'm not carrying the community along. So that's just the purpose of this video right here. So right now, um, Control Shift V is this then we paste and, and enter you see it says this already exists refusing to override so now what you need to pay attention to you i don't need to override i don't need to override it because i i already know it exists i already have it so i already have my wallet so that's why you're seeing all this but for yours you won't be seeing this it just it just go on to the next step so now, when, when doing this, you can see this side where I highlight. It's carrying my nickname. You, before you paste yours, you have to change the nickname, your name. You have to change it to your name. That's your nickname, rather. Then you can now go ahead. So also, this is another place you need to pay attention to where you have to change nickname. There's one other place, which is here. You have to change nickname as well. So when you're doing it, you pay attention to that so that you don't keep using uh, my name. So here, uh, the next thing you need to do is to paste this, copy this, to see. Come here, you do Control Shift V, and we paste alias. So now you can see what just happened. It's it's clear the screen and pop this up. So after popping that up. 
the next thing we'll have is you can see we have this other one which is services nodes blah 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 so as you can see under the services nodes you see control plus x then you now press y so just exactly what you see there just do control x just come back do control x control x then when you do control x just like that it will ask you whether yes or no to ask you for a yes or no question so you it's because i already have it that's why you're not saying it on mine then you now say you use y option y or better still if you if you receive error a, a response error you can decide to paste it separately you can decide to press paste alias first here then you after you're done then you paste this second just like okay let me show you copy copy this then go to shift v paste so when you're done then you now come back now paste nano control shift v so you see then you now say control x so it's still not showing here because i already have it active the the, the command is already a bit, uh, it's already existing on my my uh on my what's it called my vps so that's why it's not bringing out the uh, response of yes or no so just know that once you get to this place what you need to be saying is option for yes or no and you pick yes so the next thing we'll be doing is to go is to go um for docker compose docker compose what you see uh, clicking control C and control shift V then enter it said services mobile mapping then you go for the next which is the next thing you need to do is this and make sure you as I said earlier make sure you you change the name there to your the same nickname you created earlier so now once you come here you now say control shift v now enter so you see it's asking for key keying passphrase you enter your you enter your phrase that's you enter a password not really wallet phrase it's password it means password you know i'm typing password right now but you will not see it so i'll click enter so it will now say override the existing name which is IB. Then I'll, I, I can just say yes, which is still the same thing because I still use the same name. So it doesn't really uh, matter. So now what I'll do is I'll click yes. But for you, you won't be seeing this because you've not done it before. It's your first time. So now I don't need to even override or do anything. So now, just for the purpose of this video, I don't want to override anything. So now, one, the next thing that will be coming up is. I will, I will have to stop here then the next thing uh, that will be coming up is this when you are done pasting this it will now once it show you to impute password the next thing it will ask you is confirm the password then you enter the same password again it will still not pop up the password but make sure you are entering the correct thing so that anytime you create your wallet you won't have issues accessing your wallet so once you're done with that and you click enter it will automatically come up it will it this under the same cameos it will show you your wallet address uh and key free um, and uh mnemonic phrase once it pop up those things you copy your wallet address and your mnemonic phrase open a notepad save them there then you now go to the discord union discord go to their discord right here this is the link to the discord which i will drop in the video description section then you go and submit in the discord when you open their discord go to the general chat you will see a pop-up that shows probably i think right now it should be showing maybe two or one day left or something once you see that click on that option it will ask you to to fill uh, a form make sure you fill every form correctly and after after filling it will it will provide space for you to impute your wallet address the same wallet address you just created now paste it there and save and let's wait for the next update thank you very much guys for watching my video that's how you go about it and make sure don't forget to paste your address on this discord because it is very very important if you don't do that 
it's simply as if you didn't really do anything so thank you very much guys for watching my video don't forget to like the video share and support the video by, by sharing to your friends and relatives so that they can also benefit from the video thank you very much guys see you in my next video on um, fuel uh, smart contract deployment bye